well and having a super super lovely day whenever you're watching this video so in today's video i decided to take you guys along on a little like spa break with me and jamie who's here with me we have kindly been invited by by a gift to do one of their experiences that they have online and one of the experiences i stumbled across was a spa break for two at Chamonix, which i thought would be I think that's how you say it, Champneys, mm -hmm. Champneys, Champneys Spa, and they have four different locations. So what we've decided to do is go to one of them for like our little Valentine's Day date, and also Jamie's birthday because his birthday was two days ago, two days ago, three days ago. <laughs> so we are heading there now on the train. It's about from Brighton. I want to say like two hours in total the whole journey because there's not that many trains that run to the station. <laughs> oh, the ticket man's coming. He's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now. Um, so we are travelling to Liphook, which is the nearest station to one of the Champneys locations at Forest Mere location. So we're going there now. And then we've got today and tomorrow to like late afternoon because we've got a spa break for the evening and dinner included. And then also breakfast and lunch tomorrow, which is so exciting. So what I'm going to do is take you guys along, show you what we get up to. And also I'll leave all the links down to the buy a gift experience below, which was actually only 400 pounds for like the night use of everything, um, all the facilities, all the wellbeing classes, all the fitness classes and things like that. And then also like complimentary robe and towel hire and whatnot so there's so much included on it including the food so you get dinner breakfast and lunch which is amazing for the price of that because usually to go to Champneys spa it is so so expensive because it is meant to be absolutely insane so we are very excited so I'll show you guys when we get there <laughs> The last time you saw me, I think I was just actually arriving and on the train, so I don't think I've actually filmed anything on my camera, but I did film little behind the scenes on my phone, but I wanted to quickly talk about them before I showed you guys so they made a bit of sense. So we came and we went to the gym and we just did like a little bit of a workout there, and then we went to the spa and we did this thing called like the deep, is it the deep thermal? Like it, it was like a thermal experience, wasn't it? Forest Mere deep thermal experience, something like that. And they basically have these showers that you can choose the setting on. So you can do like a forest hot rain shower, or you can do a Caribbean storm, which is quite cold. And then you can go into a really, really cold ice room and then into a hot sauna. And it's basically this like whole experience that you can tailor that's like deep thermal experiences for your body and that kind of thing so we went we went and did that which is in the video i'm going to show you guys in a sec and then we went for a swim and went for an outdoor hot tub and we just chilled out a bit and then we went and had some cups of tea in a nice lounge room with some cakes and now we've just been chilling in the room and watching some tv jamie had a nap best nap he's ever had he just said Great nap. <laughs> Great nap. And we are now just heading down for dinner. So we're just in some like casual, comfy stuff. They just say smart casual, but I just want to be in comfy. So hopefully this is smart casual enough for dinner. So gonna head down now and go and get some yummy food. But I'm gonna leave in the next slide now what we got up to and any behind the scenes that I can share with you guys. I basically was really bad at filming because I felt really 
weird taking my camera into the pool and filming so many people like swimming and chilling with their partners and that kind of thing so hopefully you kind of get the gist of the pool and stuff from the next few slides and if not hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be a bit quieter and i'll be able to show you guys then guys we just finished and we're like rolling back to our room that was the best food free course meal we've ever had i think yeah it was it was good it was really, it was really good. good jay had a steak i can't vouch for that because i don't eat red meat but apparently it was good right yeah really really really, 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 really good <laughs> and i had um oh we're going in the room ah i had sea bass oh it's gonna just be dark i had the sea bass and then I had a, what did I have for a starter? Oh, a um, goat's cheese oh, and tart. spinach tart, and it was just amazing. Also, really noticing that my camera is now, since I told everyone in my last vlog on Sunday, that my camera wasn't being bad and not focusing, and it now is <laughs> not focusing on anything. So, sorry if it's going in and out of focus. I think I've got to stay very still. But anyway, yeah, so good, I can barely breathe. <laughs> I feel so sick. And then I had the chocolate fondant for dessert. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I just time lapsed it all, so I don't know what I'm on about. But anyway, we're gonna get in PJs now, do a bit of work, got my laptop ready to go for some editing, and then watch Love Island and probably chill out and go to see. <laughs> Jay's laughing at that because he hates Love Island and I I'm not the biggest fan, but I do love watching it. So not the biggest fan, you watch it every day. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't <laughs> It's just, it. it's just like a funny reality TV show, you know? Anyway, I will see you guys in the morning and show you guys what we get up to. Oh. morning guys i hope you're all well i guess you would have seen me like two minutes ago probably in the same cardigan filming in the same room but we just had a really lovely morning breakfast and swim in the pool and a little like room with loads of water beds that you can heat up and we sat in there for about half an hour and just chilled out i honestly could have fallen asleep it was so lovely so i'm gonna leave little time lapse shots of what we got just now now <laughs>
yeah, I managed to film a bit more of the pool and that kind of thing, which was nice because it's a little bit quieter this morning. I think in the mornings here, a lot of people do a lot of the Pilates classes and yoga classes. There was a lot like going on downstairs and breakfast actually wasn't too busy, but it was really, really nice because you could pick and choose what you wanted and then you could also order. And there was actually a lot of gluten-free options and fruit options and lots of yummy things. And now we are about to check out of the room. We've just been chilling for a bit and it is such a beautiful day. It is so bright, it's like blue skies outside. So what we're gonna do is we are going to probably go for a walk. I really wanna walk down to that jetty. So I'm gonna try and walk down there and then go and sit and have a cup of tea. And then we have lunch at 12 just before we leave. So we check out at 11 and then lunch is at 12. So we've got an hour to kind of just chill out and walk around the grounds a bit. We also realized they have um, bicycles here so you can go on bicycle trails. There's some like trails off to the right so you can do like trail walks or trail bike rides and that kind of thing, which looks really, really fun. Um, but we didn't realize that until this morning. So if you did come here and it was like a longer stay, there is that option to do a bit more like outdoor stuff. And it's such a nice area. It's like being in the countryside. I mean, we are in the countryside, but it's like being back in like Cornwall or something like that. It's really nice. And I really like the lake. So we're gonna go down there. I'll show you guys what it's like. <laughs> Yo, Julio, turn the radio on. My girl just left me, thought about her all night long. She said, I'm fed up, forget it, go find you someone better, but I won't. Oh, how could I am just editing my Champney Spa video and I realized I didn't really properly end the video and I wanted to just kind of give you guys a little overview of everything and how I found it and how Jamie found it and we had such a lovely time. It was so relaxing and I love going somewhere and having a really, really nice space to chill out in and I feel like the rooms there are so gorgeous with such a nice view of the lake and the space and we just had a really chilled out time and then the room we went into on the second day with all the water beds was just amazing and I could have probably stayed in there for a few days if I was allowed to because it was just so relaxing and I'm a little bit gutted I didn't discover that on the first day so if you do plan on going definitely head in there as soon as you can and experience the water bedroom because you can heat them up to about 35 degrees and it's like being in a little cocoon and as my mum calls it she calls it the nursery which is not called that but she does because she just said it's like being a child again and being cuddled or something like that so yeah it was really really lovely we had such a lovely time and we will definitely be back in the future to experience other Chantney spas because we absolutely loved it so if you guys have any other questions and things like that then do just let me know down below or send me a dm over on instagram and i will see you guys in next week's video have a lovely lovely rest of your day whenever you're watching this lots of love guys Mwah.